This is uh, the flight range test. And we're going to fly in about a circle. So winds are good, not very windy. It's also uh, very clear. There is some. This field has some people flying aircraft not far from my location. Uh, can't see much of where they are. Just occasionally that they're flying uh, aircrafts come into the field I'm in every so often about two or three hundred meters away so I can sometimes see them so here I'm just going to take off So heading towards fairing here uh, and just noticed that you're not in FPV mode so I have to find that. Uh, here we got the settings of maximum altitude I've set, maximum 500 meters and the auto return to home altitude and you can also update your home point if you needed to but it's just to kind of, if I need it, that's what I've got it set at. So I can't actually go more than 500 meters if I push the control, which we'll see, because I do bump into that. So I found the FPV button. So now I'm flying over fairing. Accidentally bumped into it, because you can't obviously see the wall. So even though I'm trying to keep sort of in between 400 and 500, I sometimes don't turn enough. So the drone pilot or um, just flying kind of light aircraft, small propeller, presuming I don't know what type of air, model aircrafts, I think mostly uh, light paper or plastic models I suppose, but you can see them occasionally flying little glints in the screen there so they're flying so I was trying to keep a bit out the way even though I'm flying at high altitude now at 116 meters so just flying over fairing and I kind of don't turn enough and hit the invisible wall I still have to turn more because it's in a circle so even though I'm turning I've got to turn to get out of that circle so even though here it goes down then it goes back up again because it's a circle and I'm uh, hitting that circle So we're just flying. I can't actually see any of the aircrafts or glinters in because the resolution on the RC Pro's uh, screen is very low, it's, so you can't really see anything of detail on the screen here. But you should be able to see. There you go. There it goes again. So quite low down. So we're just going to carry on with this uh, flight to see how long well the battery lasts and roughly how fast we go on the 249 gram battery. Well, it's a little bit under that. But.
because the battery with the drone itself keeps it I think at just under 250 grams so about kind of fly here and then I've re ran out of um, storage on my uh, SD card even though it's uh, I've as underestimated how much storage it used this was I think it only had about 8 gigabytes left so it uses a phenomenal amount of uh, storage just below we go over the group of um, model aircraft enthusiasts. They do. I do fly quite regularly there, but I've only seen uh, the model them flying when I've been doing my Holy Stone drone flights. You sometimes see them there, flying their aircrafts around there in the distance. But usually the Holy Stone having very poor range, you can't usually see them with the drone. So we're getting low on battery here, so we do a final swing around. We're out to about the maximum range, come in low. Descending. Some people walking along the path. Occasionally see their dogs uh, taking an interest in me, but about two or three minutes earlier, but kind of wondering why I'm standing there looking into the distance or my controller. speed and come to a halt I think it's like 10 meters to the to come to a halt there and then I hand catch the drone so about 23 minutes or so to catch I'll also show the data as well this is air data UVAV their um, map here is of the an area that I just flown there this is sort of all the data used from the actual flight so the actual distance traveled was nearly for just under 13 kilometers maximum speed 38.77 the flight time was 23 minutes and 34 seconds dates the ending battery life also I think it helps you can get the starting battery life as well so winds on this day was good kph level one point uh, one and a third and maximum winds was 17.9 10 meters per second now, as you can see very useful to seeing what the weather was like performance I got here tw 26 minutes 99 seconds I think the it's quite good and the total distance estimated was at 14.969 kilometers so you can also get
So you can also find other got other things you can look see. So you've got the uh, battery, how much life it has. Battery, how many charges. And then you can also run a kind of uh, what you the actual flight was just to see it upstates at zero point something a second so uh, every I think every tenth of a second so you can go right through all the data lines see what happened and the um, things that happen there. You can also upload to Google Maps and uh, get more uh, kind of flight data. You can see uh, also gives you the positions of the, the flight as well. So you also get a list of all the uh, er um, code errors and remotes, uh, how much battery life tips, warnings, uh, low risk uh, things, so basically it's just saying low battery here, tips keeps on repeating once you into uh, emergence as it gets under return to home it will keep on coming up with return to home, but right up to the point there and it will start after about uh, below 20% battery so you can kind of see what when things go wrong you can also upload the data onto Google Maps or some other software winds uh, as you said was pretty good on this day uh, some days you can get useful winds details like here it was very windy on this day uh, so here it was really quite windy had winds of average wind speed 29.3 44 gusts of 44 even higher on here average wind speed at was there was 45 46 on this and this was the uh, f second round got even more blustery so that just to show how the drone can handle quite good in handle handling winds so yeah it's quite good conditions on this particular day